The 2013 New York Auto Show had some pretty awesome reveals. Taking a lot of that press and media coverage is that new Camaro Z28. But what I wanted to talk about today and what I noticed is the new 2014 Jeep Cherokee. So my question is, eh? <laughs> So let's get to the elephant in the room. This new Cherokee, namely its front end, I mean, what is it, man? I have to say, I don't really think it looks very good at all. I mean, it looks to me like the Isuzu Via Cross come back to life, maybe crossbred with like a, I don't know, a Mitsubishi Outlander or whatever that thing is. I mean, <clears throat> I gotta say, I don't like it. And I know a lot of you are probably saying the same thing. However, did Jeep do this on purpose to make it polarizing and get people's attention and stick out in a sea of SUV and CUVs? If they did, then it was brilliant. But you have to admit, it could be a big, it could be very, you know, Pontiac Aztec. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to the rest of it. Styling aside, it seems to be a really great product coming out from Jeep. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, it's not as durable. It's not going to do what the Liberty and the old classic Jeep did, Jeep Cherokee. And, and you are right in some respects, but you have to admit they weren't selling a lot of Liberties and they certainly weren't flying off the lot. So they're trying to do something to be more relevant in the segment now. And I think, I think what they're doing is going to work. Frankly, the powertrains alone are probably enough to do it. Nine speed automatic, nine speed automatic. Okay. You can get that with a 2.4 liter Tiger Shark, or you can get that with a new 3.2 liter version of the Pentastar V6, 270 some horsepower, 239 pound feet of torque or something like that. I think they're estimating. Those are good numbers for that V6 and they should be ample in that car. So, excuse me, SUV, I shouldn't have said car. So that combination should yield dividends when it comes to fuel economy. They're saying 40 to 50% better than the old Liberty. And I can definitely see that happening. And that really should suit the needs of most users. You guys know recently I drove a similar combination with a 3.6 in the Ram. And I thought that combination was brilliant in the Ram and the Ram's much bigger. So a slightly downsized version, nine speed automatic should be great. Okay, you combine that with improved, you know, aerodynamics, improved packaging and space and on-road comfort, that's really gonna appeal to a lot of buyers. It's still trail rated. I know it's front wheel drive based with you can, and you can in, you know, engage the rear axle through the different four wheel drive systems. It does still have a low gear. It still has a pretty you know, impressive crawl ratio for rock crawling or you know, heavy, a little bit more hardcore off-roading. I think it's gonna serve the needs of a lot of people. And frankly, it's kind of a question I've been asking for a long time. Why not take some of these more car-based CUVs and actually you know, give them a little more clearance, give them the right gearing and stuff to go off-road like most people do, and you know, get the better fuel economy and all the dividends that come with it. So frankly, other than the styling, I think they're making some smart moves here. It's still gonna to tow 4,500 pounds. And the last news I wanna talk about is, is it gonna get a diesel, right? I mean, the new Grand Cherokee's coming out with this diesel, which I think a lot of people are gonna love, especially the hardcore off-roaders. And I think that might be the impetus that Dodge needs, excuse me, Jeep, to make the, uh, the switch to bring that diesel technology down into the Cherokee, most likely a smaller version, but I could see that happening in the future, something from uh, Fiat or something derived from there. So guys, thanks for watching as usual. I know there's gonna be a lot of comments and questions and stuff on this, but hey, I'm looking forward to reading them. Share this, like this, and of course, thanks again for watching. See you next time.